Duxbury police officers, and members of Melvin Dyer's family gathered outside the station for a press conference Tuesday after Dyer's death Monday night. Dyer, a part-time officer, died from injuries he suffered when he was hit by a car August 16th at the Marshfield Fair. Police Chief Mark DeLuca said that Dyer, who worked on the Duxbury force about a year, epitomized community service. And it is with the deepest regret that I'm here to inform you that Duxbury police officer Mel Dyer has succumbed to his injuries that he received August 16th while directing traffic at the Marshfield Fair. Mel Dyer, Officer Dyer, was a personal friend of mine uh, through the Marshfield Road and Gun Club, someone that I've had uh, a great working relationship, a personal relationship for about the last eight years, uh, me being a member of the Marshfield Road and Gun Club. Mel, Mel and I worked together. When I, before I was sheriff, I was an assistant DA, and we used to do a gun safety class for the seniors here in the town of Duxbury. And Mel Dyer and a number of the other people from the Marshfield Road and Gun Club would assist me in putting that on with the Duxbury police, just showing uh, what kind of a guy Mel was. You know, it was always his interest that, that he'd be out there helping others. And, Police work was just another way to do that. I knew him from the Rodden Gun Club. Yeah, Mel had been a 20 year veteran of the United States Marine Corps, and when he retired from the Marine Corps, had uh, a distinguished career in the insurance business. And then after that, he retired from the insurance business and was able to turn his attention uh, to uh, managing the affairs at the Rodden Gun Club, which is a fairly large organization in Marshfield.